Hello everybody, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to the Aravaki campaign. I believe this is part 12 and in the previous episode we took Ebora, or I should say we retook Ebora with this army here. We're currently replenishing in Ebora. I also have an army in fortified stance waiting to besiege Elisipo. So let's just have a quick check of things and then we can enter in one unit here in, in this general general unit. Um, let me see. Planishing diplomacy. Let's have a quick check of diplomacy. So Lusitani hate us. They have one province left. Carthage is over here, but they I think they have all this by here as well, and down here. Vascones, not too friendly with us in the north. May end up going to war with them at one stage. I think the rest all like us, so I think we can probably end turn and see how things go in this end turn phase. Oh my, what are they doing? Looks like they're reforming everything. Excellent, this is good news. This is good news. I could. One, one, so one general, one general, one general. And then they have five full units. Oh, I'm depleted, mind. I am depleted quite badly. I'm going to auto resolve this, guys. Because it's quite close. We'll go for aggressive stance. Headbutt. Ooh! Close victory. And I go into release the captives. As you can see, my army's gone. <laughs> from there. It was a risk. Oh, my army's still here. We'll, we'll have a look now, at the end of the turn. Oritani want to trade, but they want me to give them 100. I don't want them to give... You should be giving me money, I'm afraid. How about you give me a thousand? Thank you very much. <laughs> that was easy. Increase in rank. Right, let's double check everything. Oh. I hate this gravitas bullshit, right. Uh, counter the rumours. Do I want to lose money? Not really. Do nothing. Don't care about political intrigue. So, we have one general here, one general here, one here, and a few here. This army is still replenishing, but not looking too badly now. Zeal, ramming bonus for fleet, cunning. I'm going to go with authority. Ideally, I'd like to besiege Olisipo. Although I want to weaken the, it first with my agent, so let's see if we can poison the wells. Hopefully, we can. Ah, oh, damn it. Right, this army can come out of this stance now. Oh, increase in rank. Caught me by surprise then. Let's see. Line of sight, military intelligence, authority plus critical success. We'll go for that. I'd like my agents to have critical success. And we shall go with no stance. I want to attack Elisipo with this army. These should be out of range. Oh, maybe they're not. Oh wait, that's just the garrison. Okay, and we can fight this battle because I fancy my chances. Okay guys, so welcome back. As you can see, we have my slingers in one line going across here. I have one unit of artillery here to fire upon the enemy. I have a line of three with my general and two spear units and then the rest of my infantry all in the rear. I have two spearman units then with ladders ready to go across here and then I then have a ballista up on the hill to fire down upon the enemy. So without further ado we can start the battle. And I can't see the enemy anywhere. Hmm, interesting. Oh there they are. There we are indeed. So. Let's get a quick reload on to my ballistas. And we will get these two units to get one to attack the wall there. Get one to attack the wall there. All my skirmishers can come forward. And I would like to take personal command of one of these ballista units. And rain some death upon my enemies if possible. Might take the wall down as well. 
towards the tower, which would be useful. Ooh, that was a bit weird, right? Let's try and aim about there, maybe. Oh, that's terrible. That's embarrassing. Um, let's try one about, about there, perhaps. Yay! <laughs> Tempin bowling with my ballista bombs. My ballistas. So we'll be down to 110, 90, and they're a full unit. Ball's taken 30 damage already, so I'm happy about this. Oh, it looks like my enemy is gonna come to greet me, so without further ado, we'll turn our, our ballista around and we'll attack the general ship, which is the front ship here, if possible. And if they're going to do that, then it'd probably be wise for me to take some units, these four units perhaps, and we'll put them on the beach ready to greet them. My ballista's starting to turn around now. Let's try and get one or two shots away if possible. About there maybe. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. <gasps> oh, just missed. Damn. Explosive round. And we've taken down the wall. Excellent. Taken the wall down, we could probably walk through here, I assume. Unless the pathfinding plays up. My towers are still gonna try to clamber over their walls. How are we doing? Not too bad. Let's see if we can get another shot away. It looks good. Oh, just missed again. Ah, oh, man. But they. Nope, not quite. Damn it. They are disembarking. It's time to greet them. Get a frenzy on ready. We'll greet them now once they get off this off their boats. Doesn't look like the ship's able to disembark either, so that's quite funny. I'm just gonna try to get in there somehow. <laughs> Pathfinding is going to be a slight issue. There we go, we're gonna charge straight on the general as they jump off the ship to be greeted by four units of Iberian swordsmen. Swordsmen. Oh, I've lost a man on the wall. Lost a unit on the wall, it's a shame. Wasn't paying attention. Oops. Let's get my ballista to fire again. And I'm going to say about there. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. Oh, yes. That was beautiful. It was so beautiful the game had the lag. <laughs> Looks like we've taken out the general, which is good news. Where's my ballista gone? Right, my ballista can aim for... Uh, we could take a pot shot at their ship. I'm going to take a pot shot, I think. About there. Not too far away. The game's lagging quite a bit, I don't know why. It's rather irregular, highly irregular. That looks pretty good. Oh, just over hit. Damn. Let's get my swordsman up now. Let's charge him into the skirmishers. That's all they got left, I think. My ballistas can take care of the ships. Ooh, yes, that was a nice shot. Are they jumping off the ship yet? Not quite. They will be soon, though. I think we're just going to take all our slingers now and charge all our infantry and charge. And we'll take the third line as well, the general, into the city and charge. Just charge everything. They've jumped off their ship by looks of things. Yes. Ballista. And while my men charge, I can take another shot. Or two with my ballista, maybe. Or maybe not. <laughs> Let's see. Let's just get them to charge. Get my skirmishers to get quick reload going. I think we are out of ammunition with this blister. We are indeed. They're going for walkies with, with the actual blister themselves. Oh well. 
Skirmishers are doing damage. The hit towers are doing damage as well, that's not good. Another ballista shot going overhead. This unit is gonna route soon. Oh the walls the walls have been broken down. Or well, the gates been broken down. I'm not quite sure. Game's gone awful laggy, don't know why. Don't make sense. I'm on about twenty nine frames per second at the moment. Oh my, not good. It's not good at all. But that's right, get in the city. Throw everything in. One, two, three. Oh we got more men in, in the square. Didn't see them. Where did these guys sneak up from? In that case. Charge. Maybe we can get one or two shots on them. If this stops lagging. This is unbearable. It's unbearable. Ah. Maybe if I do the old trick where I go away from the battle and then go back, maybe it won't lag so much. Just go out here. Go back in. Oops, slightly better. I went up to 40 frames per second then. Back to 30 though. So everything's going to march in now. My ballista flying in, hopefully doing some damage. Taking a few of them out. Here we go, lovely, look at that. Ooh. So great to watch. When your enemy gets killed. Oh, but my units are routing, that's not good. Not good. Skirmishers! Attack! Want all my skirmishers to attack, if possible. Some of them are coming in through the gate, some of them are coming in through the wall over here. Both my ballista crews are useless. They may as well drop their ballistas because they're out of ammunition. Fighters already. And I, I have to apologise, guys, because the frames per second is absolutely terrible. Maybe I need to lower one or two of my settings again. Uh, doesn't seem too bad now. Yeah, that's better. Seems a lot better now. Maybe it's because some of the men have died and they don't have to render as many... Oh, it's gone. Laggy again. Spoke too soon. <laughs> Frenzy! 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 Frenzy, my pretty, is frenzy. Oh, we're losing lots of men here. It's not good. Mind you, we are against cavalry. We should be doing pretty... Okay, against them. Need to hurry up and take this gatehouse. Try and get through the unbearable, unbearableness of this, uh, of this city, this laggy city. I think we're doing okay now, though. Any more want to frenzy? They do. I say yes, please. Hope these units are actually over here. That's not good. Not good. We can try and flank around, that might be beneficial to us. There we go. Right, these units can fly over there. This one can come over here to help retake this tower. If we can flank around with these units at least, gives us half a chance. One of these units are routed, and that's good once we. They shouldn't last too long because their general's dead, so I'm hoping that. Headhunt. There we go, my general, found my general. Inspire my units, my Scutari. I'm not going to zoom in for fear of the game crashing, so <laughs> I would otherwise. But for now, we're just going to keep it on this kind of kind of view, as I try my best to get through this this painful ordeal. Spearmen, get my spears in there quickly. Taking these towers, which is good. Try and get these in by here. 
My spears are now going to charge this tribesman unit in the rear. Should be able to break that unit at least. My slings doing some damage. Hopefully they're going to fly over my own men and into the enemy skulls. Iberian swordsman. Frenzy. Frenzy. Here we go. We're going to draw them off now. Drawing some of them off from the from the main pile because I'm t capturing the uh, this square. That means less of them are going to be at the front fighting me. And now they're starting to to rout. We have a mass rout on our hands, I think. One of the key things with this game is the morale system. Any kind of morale buffs for your units, I suggest taking them. It does help out a lot in these type of battles. You know when you get like a, a general level up and it says like authority plus five for morale for all land units, so they're always good things to go for. And all of them now with the little yellow dots above the flags shows that they are kind of 50-50 at the moment. I got green above all mine so my men are fresh, my men are eager. They want to do plenty of damage and kill plenty of men and take all their plunder. Do some inspiration again. Inspire my own general's unit. My general, how many kills has my general got? 74, not bad. 109, 35. General's doing pretty well. Pretty happy with that. Ooh, ooh. Ballista's got 171 and 138. Really good, really good. Oop. Frenzy. Frenzy. And again. Can break these units at the back now. It would be good. We are breaking the one. 51 tribesmen, 80 tribesmen here. We'll get this unit up here. Onto the walls. For some reason they're not going up there. Why aren't you going up there? Where are you going? Slingers. Slingers, where are you going? Up there. There you go. Finally, you've made it to the wall. Well done. And they're all routed, I think. Looks like it's... And there we are. Costly victory. End the battle. So there we are. We've won that battle. Somehow. <laughs> it wasn't the hardest of battles, but what was hard was the total lagging of the battle. It was it was quite painful, but Pyrrhic victory, or Pyrrhic victory, however the hell you pronounce it. I think it's Pyrrhic. Maybe Pyrrhic. We shall occupy. And we have taken Olisipo. Ooh, into the neck. That was quite brutal indeed. On the floor you go. Military traditions. Increase in rank. So, first things first. I want to get... So this is the type of thing I'm on about. C8 plus morale for all units during ambush. Weapon damage inflicted by all missiles. I want to go for the sword arms because we've got a lot of sword units. And then we can go for zeal, authority. Plus two cunning when general. Eight plus campaign map movement range. So I'll go with that. And we hold Olisipo. We have loads of money, so I'm going to just double check what's mercenary and what's not. Don't think we've got any mercenaries. Nope, this is fully recruited army, so I'm going to increase the armor of all of them. And I'm going to increase the armor of all of them. We're going to camp up here the next turn or two. My spy can be used to great effect as well. All that's left of Lusitani are these lonesome generals, which are now suffering attrition as well. So they should be consequently defeated in the up and coming videos. So I hope you've all enjoyed this episode. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.